Tristan is with us. Tristan is in Canton, Ohio. Hi, Tristan. Welcome to the Ramsey Show. Hey, Mr. Ramsey. How are you? Better than I deserve, sir. How can George and I help? So I got a bit of a mouthful for you. Um, I'm 22 years old. Uh, I have about uh, my girlfriend and I have been dating for around six years. We're only boyfriend and girlfriend right now. We live in my mom's house, and it's currently like a nice situation. You know, nothing bad's happening. My question is, is that with listening to your show for the past month or so, we kind of realized how bad we are with our finances and our debt. Um, about two years ago, um, I bought a motorcycle, and I currently owe around twenty-two thousand dollars on it. And I also bought a truck about four years ago, and I owe around eight thousand dollars on it. Now, me and my girlfriend, we want to, you know, get engaged and uh, buy a house or we'll save up for a house here soon. My question is that should I sell a motorcycle um, and break even on it and then just work on paying off my truck? Or I've already budgeted out monthly, and I figured out that I could pay off all thirty grand within 10, 10 months. But that's all I'm focusing on. I'm not focusing on saving anything or nothing. Okay. What do you make? Uh, currently, I have two jobs, and I make around sixty to 70000 Okay. Good for you. You're working hard. I am. Thank you. Okay, so uh, I want to back up. I got confused on the details a little bit. Okay. So you are living with your girlfriend at your parents' house? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. And y'all aren't married. Why? Um, because we we haven't gone that far. Well, we, we want to. It's um, uh, I'm, I'm buying a ring, and we're going to propose. I've already got the blessing from her dad and everything. Um, she, her dad, she was living with her parents and they left the state and she wanted to stay here with me and she didn't want to go get an apartment. So I finished my basement and she's living in my basement. So you don't live in the same room? No, sir. Okay. I'm so con. Okay. I just, I'm the clarity on this is helpful. Thank you. Um, I'm sorry. Okay. Um, wow. How much money do you have in the bank? Uh, right now I have around three grand. Okay. Is she working? Uh, she works two part-time jobs, and I would say probably annually she can bring in fifteen, twenty. Is she in school? Uh, no. Sure. Uh, How she old wants is to she? Be a stay-at-home mom. Uh, she's twenty-two. She's a stay-at-home mom. You have a kid? No. She no. She wants to be. She she doesn't want to go to college or anything right now. She's making money on the side. Oh, I see. Okay. Whew. Okay. Well. If I'm in your shoes, I'm selling the motorcycle, I'm getting a ring, I'm getting married, I'm moving forward with our life, because I think she's more important than the motorcycle. Would you agree? I would agree. Oh, yeah, you didn't have a choice on that answer, brother. That was he a trick question. He completely trapped you. Yeah, you were dead. Trick well, question. Here's, dead here's, here's the thing. Here's the thing. She, actually, I'm the one who's wanting to sell the motorcycle. She yeah. does not want me to sell it. It's yeah, not that's, just that's sweet. She, that's sweet and all, but it's dumb. You need, okay. you need to sell the motorcycle, yeah. Um Okay. So what's what's your household income for the year? Sixty seventy. Sixty seventy year thousand. He's, this feels like a lot of motorcycle and truck to being sixty seventy. And your your truck is how much is your truck worth? Uh, I owe about well, it's it's worth around fifteen, but I owe around eight on it. Okay, mm-hmm. good, good. Yeah, let's get so, rid of the uh, motorcycle. Uh, wait sure. a minute, you have a you you have a twenty two thousand dollar motorcycle? Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, we're definitely selling the motorcycle. Ago. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What's the payment on that? Uh, four forty a month. Yeah, that's a sweet bike. What is it? Uh, it's a twenty twenty Harley Davidson Fat Boy thirty oh, year anniversary. Jeez, man, that's a beast. I'm I sorry. Know, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I was a smart aleck, but you still got to sell it. Uh, oh I know. my gosh. Oh, that's a wonderful bike. But yeah, it's completely out of school here. It's the it's the thing that sticks out in your whole story is the dumbest thing in the whole story. The rest of the story is pretty. I, that's what I tell everyone. Yeah, the that's rest of your story is a pretty good story. I mean, you got a good situation going on. You're being very moral and very right. Uh, you ask her dad for his blessing. He gave it, which means you're a good guy. Um, man, I, I'm just. I think there's a whole lot good going on with you. Yeah, the motorcycle is just the dumbest thing in the picture. Yeah, I'd get rid of it. Oh, I love it though. It's awesome. I'm sorry. You'll get you another bike though. <laughs> You'll get you another bike. I mean, someday you'll get a bike, and you'll own the bike this time, and it won't own you. Yeah, I just listen to your show. We kind of just realize how dumb we are. With yeah. No, you're not dumb. I mean, really, overall, you've done a good job. It's just that's the one thing that's sticking out big time. So okay. then, you, then you only got eight thousand dollars in a couple months. You're debt free, and you don't need to buy a house. You just go rent an apartment, and you guys get married. Okay. And I think she needs to find some some work she enjoys doing. 
Yeah, you know, I mean, it's fine if one day she wants to be a start developing a career, mom. even if uh, even if she does choose to come and just be a full time mom after babies come and all that. But if I were you, I I would work diligently to uh, be uh, out of the car debt and out of your mom's house and married by fall. Okay. And I think you can do that. I think I can too. Okay. <laughs> we believe in you. Yeah, and of course the motorcycle's gone. And you started your life. I mean, you know, when I was 22, Sharon and I were married. We lived in a one-bedroom apartment. We had two junky little cars, and we'd started off our life. And we were dumber than a rock. We were, we were a lot dumber than you, Tristan. I mean, we really were. Um, I mean, if you looked at our finances, they were horrible. And, you know, and I just expanded that horrible and made it, you know, with millions, and it was horrible. And then I went broke and lost everything because I expanded my stupidity. So, Tristan, you really got a good start. Yeah. You really and did. it's a reversible decision. It was a cool thing to dig into your story, though, and start to understand what all was going on there. Because at first it sounded like it was one thing, and then I got a whole other picture. Definitely a strange situation. Not yeah. the norm. You got to learn a little bit about what's happening.